investment, which is very important, especially for many of us who would want to delve deep into you know the real estate world and generally the world of land and all this and so we'll have an expert who's going to take us through the importance of this and just how then do you get it right when you decide that you're going to get into strategic land investment and joining us for this conversation is george buru of mizizi homes or africa homes yes mizizi africa homes a specialist in line with this and we get to understand some more so i'll not do much of an introduction because then he's well positioned to do this. good to have you this morning Thank you, and when we hear anything to do with land sometimes we do not even know whether it means land but we just get excited and but also we have some level of fear that comes along with this because of the numerous moments of fraud we've witnessed today. So much realignments being done in, you know, uh, the Ministry of Land. And this, I know, trickles down to every other investor who would want to invest in this particular line. So before we even get to that, first we'd love to understand what then is the importance of, uh, you know, investing in, you know, strategic land. And uh, first, how then do we... Um, say describe what exactly is land investment or strategic land investment yeah. uh, thank you very much uh, for having me yes uh, good to again have you. it's mm -hmm. my second time yes my name is George Mburu I'm the CEO of Mizizi Africa Homes Limited mm -hmm. and it's always a pleasure when we talk matters investments yeah. matters land because as you have said it is a matter that uh, is uh, dear to mm -hmm. many people's heart and uh, it is something that uh, people always look forward to, owning yeah. a piece of land, owning a property. Yeah, so it is a very interesting topic and mm. I'm happy to be here. And uh, to start off with the question that you have asked, uh, you have asked, um, can you repeat? Just it? understanding land investment, uh, in particular strategic land investment. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The most important thing when you have a piece of land is knowing that uh, you have a genuine piece of land mm -hmm. and uh, having that uh, security and peace of mind that uh, there's no one that is going to come and uh, get you off your piece of land mm -hmm. because you have seen the negativity of somebody coming and taking over a property yeah. that uh, you had uh, settled and you knew it is yours and you are living comfortably and uh, you are comfortable then all of a sudden it is said it is a grabbed piece of land mm. and, and a new owner comes and uh, says it the land we know the the implications and it has brought so many fights so the most important thing before you buy a piece of land it is always important to involve the professionals who are involved in land and they include we have a lawyer you, mm -hmm. you need to have a lawyer you need to have a surveyor yeah. and you need to work closely with the lands registry and we have them all over the counties. Okay. We have them in uh, every county has a land registry. So it's very important uh, that uh, you get yourself familiar with the land mm -hmm. and also to do a bit of due diligence, mm -hmm. history of land, who owned the land before. And it is very easy. You can access mm -hmm. all this information from the lands ministry uh, that are all over the counties. Mm -hmm. And you can ask, actually ask for a green card and it is a very small amount, maybe 2,500, and you get to know the history. And then before you purchase any land, it's always good to have a very clear agreement so that uh, in case of anything, it's always you, you, you have yourself a uh, backup. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. In most cases, um, the experiences, some of the things that you've mentioned, you know, get many people thinking that, well, maybe if I have this uh, lump sum of money, I can invest it somewhere else. Mm -hmm. What would be one thing or maybe a couple of things that would probably get you saying that uh, it is important to invest in land? Yeah. Uh, many people always think that uh, for you to get a piece of land yeah. or for you to invest in land you need to first of all have accumulated uh, such an amount such a huge amount which is not the case yeah and uh, i would encourage anybody even a young person you can start off with a piece of plot a plot mm. that is not uh, maybe so close to town because you get to understand that uh, as you get nearer the town yeah the properties uh, price go up but as you go deeper in the interior, you get uh, the prices also go down, mm -hmm. depending on the location. So uh, for anyone, either you are young, you are old, it's always good you, you, you start investing early, uh, so that uh, as you continue investing, you also get to grow. Mm -hmm. You start uh, maybe in an interior, uh, an interior place, 
Then as time goes by and uh, as you accumulate more money, you can continue uh, coming up near to town and eventually you'll have your dream your dream house. It's just mm -hmm. like uh, owning a car. Mm -hmm. You don't start with the biggest uh, machine. You can start with a small car, then with the time you continue upgrading. Right. Yeah. So the issue of investing, it's not about having so much money. It's about of having that mindset and uh, starting early. And it also motivates you because once you have a parcel of land and uh, you, you with time, and actually unlike uh, a car, whereby maybe you are reselling and you want to upgrade, you, you resell maybe at mm -hmm. a loss and top up. For a land, you will resell at a higher price and then you just top up and upgrade. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, when we speak about strategic, um, you know, uh, land um, investment, um, then so much comes up, you know. Mm -hmm. And for instance, in this case, as you seek to own land, you probably have the money. But in most cases, we honestly do not know how to go about it. Which would be the safest, uh, you know, approach? One, for instance, going it alone, you know, as an individual, and you go and get a person who has land, and you decide mm -hmm. that you're going to have a conversation between the two of you, and you decide on investing on their particular land. Or sometimes, it is way advisable if you go the route where you're going to get assistance from these institutions that have taken up, you know, the land business. Uh, for instance, real estate institutions, speak of, home, uh, you know, Homes Africa. Have, Africa Africa Homes or Homes Africa? Mizizi Africa Homes. Mizizi Africa Homes, yes. Mm. I speak of such entities. Which would be the safest, uh, you know, approach mm. in this scenario? Because, I mean, there are a lot of fraud sure. uh, occurrences that play out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what I would uh, advise it all depends uh, with where you are coming from. Because, for example, uh, you have a lot of time at yep. uh, your disposal. You can uh, be in a position to go and uh, do your own due diligence. You can in, be in a position to talk with the uh, brokers and uh, get to understand uh, how yeah. you're going to get a genuine parcel of land. But uh, also at the same time, uh, if you're not, you do not have the, lux the luxury of having all that time to mm -hmm. go mm -hmm. do the search where you would like, uh, deal with the brokers, do due diligence, uh, go to the lands, all that time, all, all that. Eh? Mm -hmm. You can approach uh, people who are uh, uh, reputa reputable institutions like yeah. uh, Mzizi Africa Homes Limited, whereby before we e get even get to secure a parcel of land, yeah. we have done all those uh, due diligence that are, are necessary and are required. And uh, when you are buying our property, we have it's also a risk to us, so we need also to involve the surveyors, the yeah. lawyers, do our due diligence, talk with the locals, so that before we buy that parcel of land and mm -hmm. we welcome you, maybe we come, we partner together, we own that land and uh, maybe do a house. Yeah. It's something we have already gone the extra mile. So you, the, the customer, you don't have to go through that uh, so much hassle. Yes. You come to us, we have done all the, the hassle, and now we have identified the piece of land. Mm -hmm. If you like it, if you like the location, we proceed with the journey ahead mm -hmm. together. Yeah. All right, a huge investment to make, and one would want to understand, one, the acquisition and risk management or mitigation methodologies that come along with this. Would you tell us something small about that? Sure. Uh, the risk mitigation comes with the due diligence that yeah. we are talking about yeah. and uh, ensuring that uh, you have the history of the land that you are buying and uh, you also get to interact with the locals that mm -hmm. are there. Mm -hmm. The locals, because they, they, they don't have any interest, you talk to several people, they will be able to tell you this place, how is it, even security-wise. Uh, in terms of, mm -hmm. uh, like, uh, there is a land we were so much interested and we went, it was very good, we did the mm -hmm. search, we did everything, it was okay. But uh, we went and uh, talked to the locals and we asked about, we, there was a river. How yeah. is this river when uh, it floods? Okay. And uh, the, the, the local was able to tell us, uh, here when it rains, water comes all the way from the river and up to here. Mm -hmm. And we saw that is not a viable place yes. where you can do a project. So there are so many things that are, that are involved. On top of, uh, in, uh, the, the most important is uh, involving the, the lawyers, surveyors, and uh, the people who are in that uh, line, and also the registry, mm -hmm. and the people in lands. Uh, but you also need to go the extra mile, do your due diligence around the area, how is the security of that area, mm -hmm. how are the, the, the natives. The, the natives, uh, is it a communal land, but maybe at some point it was given to somebody. Okay. You need to understand uh, all those dynamics. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So mm -hmm. the due diligence goes far beyond uh, the search and uh, uh, the looking for the green card. You need to do more and uh, talk to the locals. Yeah, it is. Okay. 
a mm. wide range of things. All right, investor relationship <coughs> is crucial also. So how then does it affect investment, both negative and positive? Yeah, mm. <coughs> yeah investors are very important. Yeah. And uh, for Ras Mizizi Africa Homes Limited, we believe that uh, our customers are the most important uh, partners that we have mm. because we work together. So uh, it's a journey that you need uh, to grow. You need to have that uh, trustworthy relationship. Mm -hmm. uh, just like in marriage, you need to work with people mm -hmm. who you can trust each other. You work peacefully yeah. uh, despite any ups and downs. It, it is something that calls for people to work together and uh, have faith. Actually, mm -hmm. I look at it, uh, the most important thing is working by faith. Because at times you may uh, have some unseen dangers. Uh, but if you have faith and uh, again you put God first, everything works works well. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Uh, we speak of uh, market research, which is very important. You know, just uh, aligning yourself with uh, the processes that are involved and getting to know the right offices to knock to if you want to make this investment. Uh, is there a certain duration that one would require? For them to evidently, you know, go through this and you know, satisfactorily uh, argue that you know this is time that I can put my money on this. Is there a certain duration, or maybe sometimes it, it is dependent on technically the place that you are focusing on, the people that you are dealing with? Yeah, uh, it's a, a process, and it all depends uh, with the time that you have. And uh, you know, for a majority of people, mm -hmm. they are working. So you find that uh, somebody is busy in the office and maybe the only time they get is during the weekend yeah. and maybe when they, are, uh, they have a, a leave, yeah. leave days. And uh, that's why I normally encourage if you can uh, involve yourself with a reputable institution because like for us, Mrs. Africa Homes Limited, that is our work. Mm -hmm. And uh, if we have identified uh, something, we have the team. We have the team of uh, those people yeah. who are working. So you can have several people, maybe a surveyor, a lawyer, and uh, maybe other mm -hmm. people that you have sent on the ground working uh, simultaneously, right. because that, that is our work. Mm -hmm. But uh, you as an individual, if you have to do all that, uh, it may take you such a huge amount of time mm. and uh, energy. Uh, but if you have a reputable institution like Mrs. Africa Homes Limited doing all that, when you are coming on board, you'll find that uh, most of the hard work has been done and uh, you have uh, eliminated uh, actually almost every risk that yeah. uh, is there. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, when we talk prices and you know the money that needs to be put, what are some of the things that we look at? Because, um, well, sometimes people have said that, you know, you, you go out there when the competition is down, when the seasons are low and everything, but uh, we all acknowledge that uh, with land, it's a whole different thing today mm -hmm. because uh, the value keeps you know going up appreciating by the day and so people take advantage of such so what are some of the things to look out for uh, for you to reach to a point whereby you agree on the prices and you agree on just how much this land that you want to invest on should go for yeah. uh, thank you uh, you will realize that uh, when you go to areas that have already developed mm. and uh, there is also there is already road accessibility there's uh, security there the water is there the elect everything is in place there mm -hmm. are shopping malls there are schools you will uh, most probably find that the place has already grown to almost mm -hmm. its optimum and uh, that is why where you find uh, prices have really skyrocketed because over time roads have been built Water has been uh, piped, yeah. electricity, mm -hmm. security, police uh, posts have been uh, put, people have uh, put uh, malls, supermarkets, uh, schools. You'll find that the place will be most probably very expensive mm -hmm. because over time it has, uh, the land has appreciated. But uh, if you are in a position to do your calculation very well eh, mm -hmm. and you get to understand there are some of the areas that are coming up, like uh, at the moment we have bypasses that yeah. are coming uh, up we have a uh, north, northern uh, corridor yes. we have uh, eastern southern, southern. Mm -hmm. we have uh, the greater eastern bypass you find that uh, if you get a parcel of land in those areas uh, five ten years down the line you will find that the place has really appreciated mm -hmm. and uh, now the people who will be coming to buy those places at that time the prices will be so high yeah but uh, you will find that when you do it like right now mm -hmm. and you buy either for speculation or you develop immediately, yeah. you will find that uh, you will be able to get your return. Assuming you buy the place that has already developed fully and uh, maybe you intend to resell, uh, it may be the higher 
chances that uh, you may buy at uh, 10 million and uh, after 10 years you will sell at 10 million or even 11 million oh. you will have made only a million okay you go to an in, uh, an interior place uh, in court uh, whereby those uh, roads are being made and those infrastructures are upcoming you buy maybe a plot at uh, a million or 1.5 and you find five years, 10 years, you are selling it at over 10 million. Mm -hmm. And uh, people are actually asking you, how, wh how are you able to get this prime place? Mm -hmm. But it's only that uh, it's time, it's a matter of time because oh. land never depreciates. Well, time yeah. changes so much. So yeah. um, you speak of uh, people who would want to put up an investment where, you know, over time, on a medium term, they decide to sell some of this uh, land or to sell uh, this uh, land that they put their assets on. Uh, with a view of this, uh, what would be the best strategic approach to it? First of all, buy it and wait for it to stay for a longer while or buy it on a medium term, sell it. What exactly plays out? And as you await for that moment where this land is going to appreciate, uh, their value is going to be appreciate, just how much then can be done on this particular land to ensure that it just does not sit idle? Yeah. yeah. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, you find that, uh, as I had uh, advised mm -hmm. uh, for any person, it's good to start early. And you can start by securing, uh, securing a parcel of land. Yes. You just fence it and uh, you can put, uh, depending on the size, if it's a, a small plot, you may just, uh, mm -hmm. you may just uh, put a fence around it and uh, have it uh, sitting. If it's a bit bigger, you can uh, fence it and also have some goods, some chicken, you can do something mm -hmm. that can generate income as you wait. Uh, but for like us, Mrs. Africa Homes Limited, what we do, we get a place that is not so interior, it is very accessible and mm -hmm. also coming up mm -hmm. and we get uh, the, the plot or the land at a good price mm -hmm. and uh, we subdivide it and we do housing, we construct mm -hmm. a, ho a house whereby we invite people to come and own the houses at a very good price and you find that uh, in terms of return on investment it is much higher as compared to that some that person who bought it and uh, kept it there for speculation yeah. it may take five or ten years but for like us mrs africa homes limited you come we buy the parcel of land mm -hmm. and we construct houses and you find in a matter of one year as we do we, we do construction in a 10 to 10 to 12 months mm. 10 to 12 months in that 10 to 12 months you find that we have managed to add value to the plot by building a house mm -hmm. double mm -hmm. you buy uh, our house at uh, 4 million and uh, in a span of one year you're able to resell your house from 6.5 mm -hmm. to 7 million and uh, you have already created a return on investment of above 2 million so you see with us uh, as a developer because we also understand uh, the this uh, matrix of uh, the land be able to add value at a much higher rate than just buying a parcel of land waiting just speculating and uh, we add value to it. Mm -hmm. yeah. what, what would be the exit strategy the moment you decide it's okay now, this I have invested on and this is how we, we exit from this and mm -hmm. getting into another? Yeah, uh, the, that's another beauty of uh, working with people like us, Mrs. Africa Homes Limited, because you buy this parcel of uh, this, this house, we construct it and it's ready in 10 to 12 months. Okay. You, you want to resell that house and uh, you get your return on, of, of, uh, return on investment and you also uh, consume mm -hmm. the initial amount that you had put you are you are free to do that okay. within one year if you continue and if you we, you continue to plow back like you resell this uh, house then you buy another one mm -hmm. then uh, which is at uh, the initial stage of off plan yeah. and uh, you you sell then after 10, 10 months or one year you find this can be actually a generate an income generating Venture, venture, that we have okay. ventured. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. All right, and so sourcing of deals or for deals uh, is one thing then that will play out in this. And in most cases, even as we are on the, uh, you know, on, on that venture of sourcing for deals, mm -hmm. you tend to, to, to lose it, you tend to get it wrong and all that. So some of these processes and uh, how then do we get alive to the fact that yes, these deals are in existence? What are some of the most general deals that mm -hmm. could be in existence that people could take advantage of? Because uh, again, we all acknowledge that we all are not well, you know, equally mm -hmm. blessed. Mm -hmm. And so you realize while I might really need to invest on land, I do not have that capability or capacity. Yeah. Sure. Uh, the most important thing and uh, what I normally encourage yes. uh, our customers and our partners, investors and uh, homeowners is that mm -hmm. uh, 
whenever you get uh, into a certain relationship, let's say you have come to Mrs. Africa Homes Limited, yeah. I always encourage for us to walk the journey together. together okay. Don't uh, come in, then you stand on the side and watch. Mm -hmm. It's a journey that we are walking together. It's good to get involved, get to understand uh, what happens exactly. Because uh, if you wait until everything is done, actually you will wonder how, how, how did it happen. Mm -hmm. But if you are walking the journey and uh, you, you understand maybe some of the challenges that we are going through, you understand uh, some of the, the other good sides that uh, we are going through, it is something that you will own yeah. and you will understand it fully. So in every venture that you, you, you are into or any relationship, uh, it's always good not to get into a relationship then mm -hmm. you wait and you watch. Yeah. It's always good you have entered into Activity. a match. It's good to be also active, to be actively involved. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. That's, yeah. What are the most common mistakes that are done uh, by people when now they decide that officially we are getting into this strategic land investment mm -hmm. and, you know, mistakes that would get them feeling like, you know, this was not a wise move to take. Questioning why is it that some people are doing so well in this and others are not doing so well. Yeah. Uh, you find that uh, when somebody gets into a certain uh, deal or uh, something, uh, mm -hmm. uh, there is always the expectation that yeah. you have from the word go. And uh, you find that uh, at times mm -hmm. people have so much uh, expectations that are beyond reasonable. Yeah. You find uh, somebody, uh, you have gotten into a relationship, mm -hmm. you are doing affordable housing because that is what we are doing. Mm -hmm. We do as Mrs. Africa Homes Limited. We are doing affordable housing and uh, we give you an affordable house. But uh, again, you look at the neighbor, they have a very uh, big uh, mansion, okay. they have very big compound, they have everything, they mm -hmm. have a swimming pool, they have everything. Yeah. And, uh, because you had so much expectations and you did not take time to understand and mm -hmm. walk the journey, yeah. you, you feel uh, as if you are frustrated because you feel like you have been shortchanged. Mm -hmm. But uh, you try, the, the same person tries and goes and uh, asks around for maybe the price of that mm -hmm. house that they, maybe they had dreamt. We are doing affordable, just basic a house, a, a parking, and uh, ev uh, the ele electricity there and everything. Uh, you find somebody wants uh, things that are beyond reach and uh, they go to ask for that maybe the mansion it mm -hmm. and they are told it's 30 million and they had invested let's say 4 million or yeah. 3 point something yeah. and now they can actually get 6 point something it's a matter of uh, calculations mm -hmm. and being uh, also realistic mm -hmm. and uh, yeah working the journey and being you you, are, you, you become logical mm -hmm. and, yeah Yes. At what point then does asset advisory come in and just how instrumental is this? Yeah. Uh, s asset advisory is very crucial and uh, it sets in uh, very importantly at the initial stage. Yes. At the initial stage because that is where you get to set your expectations mm -hmm. and you get to set what you want. And uh, by the time you get it and you have walked the journey, you'll be able to appreciate mm -hmm. it. For example, you have invested, uh, let's say, four million. In one year, you have made your two million. Even if uh, which kind of uh, other business you are doing, it's not uh, possible. Uh, so it's good to to set your from the word go to goals, set right. your goals mm -hmm. right from mm -hmm. the word go. You are uh, huh, as I as I have put it, your expectations, your right. expectations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, uh, before we get to close it down, uh, in most cases we have seen um, some adjustments being done at the level of the ministry. Just how well involved is the ministry, you know, in terms of ensuring that there's a smooth running, you know, there's some smooth process of transition uh, of documents from one person to the other. And generally, how instrumental has it been in terms of reducing the insecurities that we witness today? Of course, a courtesy of, you know, dishonesty that comes along with the different, you know, crafty business people that get into this, uh, you know, business of land investment. Yeah. Uh, over the past one year and uh, with time, we have seen the government uh, getting involved and uh, actually 
it, it, it has always been involved, mm -hmm. but actually coming with the laws, like for example, the laws that, that were recently passed uh, of uh, title ownership and recently uh, the Ministry of Land mm -hmm. said uh, they are going to change the titles. And these are things that are in the public domain. Yep. And it's time that I encourage the people to also get involved. Mm -hmm. The land question is the most uh, interior uh, question that yep. uh, we have as a country. And land is the biggest resource we have. Mm -hmm. As much as we have other resources like uh, labor and uh, the other capital money, uh, the land is the most uh, biggest capital that we have. And we as the citizens, we do not have the luxury to sit back and just wait as things happen and we just hear uh, in the lands corruption. Like uh, now the government is trying to digitalize things. Yeah. And uh, the, the, the lands ministry now are quite very open. And uh, that's why I encourage people, make, make those places uh, f your friends. Mm -hmm. Be walking there. If you have questions, understand. Because you can only ask a question if you you, you understand. Yeah. Go understand. So I would encourage uh, the citizens mm -hmm. to be involved. There's this uh, law that uh, is saying ABCD. Let's get involved. And uh, nowadays with social media, social media and the media. Mm -hmm. you now nowadays we have media all over, like uh, this mm -hmm. one and uh, others. If you get anything that uh, is uh, suspicious. You raise it up. Even mm -hmm. the people that are on the, those offices, they will be concerned. And uh, yeah. when we do that, uh, we are going to streamline things and things of uh, the dubious deals, corruption. These are going to be things of the past. At what point then does one sit down and say, you know what, I have overcome all that. Mm -hmm. Probably I have the deed, the title deed with me. And you as an institution also, at what point do you get to that level where you say, you know what, this is a good procedure, this is a clean procedure. As an entity, we are protected from unscrupulous business people because and we all agree that it's a cartel driven entity. Yeah, sure. So while individuals might be conned, you as institutions can as well, as well you know, uh, get to that point where you're vulnerable to the same. So what measures are being put to ensure that these institutions are well protected? Sure. Two, uh, land are uh, risky affairs and uh, that's why you need to involve uh, the professionals yeah. that, are, that are involved in the land matters. Mm -hmm. You need to have very good lawyers. Okay. You need to have very good surveyors. Mm. You need to have uh, to understand uh, to have even a good relationship with the county commissioners and uh, all the various people involved. Yeah. In the lands registry. It's a you, you need to have a relationship and to understand. Mm -hmm. Make them your friends, and uh, if you continue working with the journey, you'll have the information. Yeah. Because what people lack is the uh, information, mm -hmm. and maybe sometimes time because somebody is so busy. Before you now start uh, getting to know, to know those things, you, you, you are employed, you don't have that time. You yeah. only have time to go and uh, rest. But uh, for us, Mrs. Africa Homes Limited, we ensure that we have all those players mm -hmm. at our disposal. Right. And before we get to any deal, we involve them. And uh, if there is anything, they don't give us an okay. You just, there are so many parcels of land. Mm -hmm. You just leave it, go to the next. You don't have, like, uh, you find uh, people getting so much attached maybe to something, and that is where people go wrong. Okay. You get, uh, you have uh, liked uh, maybe a certain cloth. You are buying, a, uh, let's say, a cloth as an example, mm -hmm. or a house. Let's use a house. You, you really like it, and you, you get, uh, you, you let your emotions take control. Mm -hmm. You don't go the extra mile to do uh, the due diligence because you have already fall, fallen in love. But uh, for us, like uh, the uh, land, we, we take it as just a, a stock. Okay. The way you don't uh, put emotions to stock when you are selling uh, maybe sugar, the same way when you are selling, you are dealing with the land. Okay. And uh, everything, even if you are buying a, a, a cloth, if you, you love it so much, you will actually be, be sold at a higher price because okay. the person selling will see, ah, she has already loved it. Mm -hmm. So if she's selling at uh, 1,500, they will tell you 3,000 because mm -hmm. they know you'll buy at 2,500. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, that's interesting, yeah? And uh, like we always say, as risky as it may be, we always get ourselves there. And most of the people who've invested on land will tell you they have never regretted. Sure. I doubt there's a point where we're going to get to, you know, this uh, talk that, you know, at uh, a level that land has depreciated. Yeah, so we can never there. get to that point. It will never be there. And uh, that's why I encourage, start early. 
Yes. Do it a parcel of if with, with time you will become a, a pro on, on the same. Mm -hmm. And yeah. there are very very many arrangements that one can actually get to acquire land with even without you having to have the entire amount sure, true, true. and all that. So yeah. why don't you walk into Mizizi? Mizizi Africa Homes, homes Limited, and yeah. try and find out whether there's a deal for you. Sure. Yes, and that is George Mburu, the CEO of Mizizi Africa Homes. It was good having you this morning, and we're looking forward to have more and more conversations on matters land because, like we say every day as emotive as they may be, it is one of the key things that people would look at as honey because they always want to go in there and see what is in store for them. On that note, we close it on Morning Cafe as we look forward to see you again tomorrow. As always, it's a pleasure to have you. And we say, Kwaheri, it's a wrap from me. My name